if you've ever built a site in Elementor, you've used these icons. They're called breakpoints and they have a problem. Because if you click on mobile and then customize your design according to it, your design might still look bad on some mobiles because all of them have different aspect ratios. But Elementor's own tutorial for this is now over three years old and the interface has changed massively since then. So in this updated guide for 2025, I'll show you how to set up custom breakpoints and a bonus at the end because Elementor sites are also notorious for being really slow on mobile, we'll use a free tool to get 90 plus page speed as well. All right, let's begin. First, we're gonna go and log into your WordPress dashboard. On the left-hand menu, find and click on Elementor. This will open the Elementor settings and at the top, you'll see tabs. Click on the features tab. In some older Elementor versions, this may still be called experiments. So click on that, scroll down until you find additional custom breakpoints. And if it's set to default or inactive, change it to active. Now after that, scroll to the bottom and click save changes. Now go to any page that you want to edit and click edit with Elementor. Then look at the top and you'll see the responsive mode icon. It looks like a monitor and a mobile phone. And by default, you'll only see desktop, tablet and mobile. So to add more, look at the top, there's a small icon labeled manage breakpoints. Click on that, a panel will open on the left showing all the available breakpoints. Now the ones already active are highlighted. Click on the plus icon and activate the other ones like mobile extra, tablet extra, whatever you want. Now once you've selected them, click apply and Elementor will refresh. Now Elementor works with a desktop first approach. This means styles you apply on desktop automatically cascade down to smaller devices unless you overwrite them. For example, if you set the padding to 80 pixels on desktop, it will appear as 80 pixels on tablet and mobile until you manually change it. So to make a change for a specific breakpoint, switch to that device view, click the element you want to adjust, change the style, for example, reducing the padding here to 20 pixels. Now this new value will now apply to only this breakpoint. Now, sometimes, no matter how much you tweak the spacing like this, an element just doesn't look good on a certain device. In which case, you can actually create two versions of it, one for desktop and one for mobile, and show or hide each version depending on the device. So here's how you do it. First, right click the element and choose duplicate. Then select the desktop version, go to the advanced tab, scroll to responsive, and hide it on the mobile and tablet. Then select the mobile version, go to advanced, click on responsive and hide it on desktop and tablet if needed. And this lets you create completely different designs for each device without breaking the layout on others. That's how you enable custom breakpoints, design responsively and use the hide and duplicate trick to solve tough layout problems in Elementor. Now, as I said before, it's time for the bonus and the popular speed plugins are either expensive or have tons of settings and don't really get you 90 plus page speed still. That's why we've built Airlift. It's already got 50,000 users. It's really amazing and totally free. You just add it to your site and then with one click, it automatically does over 100 optimizations to get you 90 plus page speed. Looks magical, right? It took us two years to build this. I'll link this in the description so you can try it out and I'll see you in the next one.